I am here to pit generation against generation. This is the light side versus the even brighter side. This is Ikea versus Ikea. Let's go ahead and take it out. Alright, welcome to Mike Text It Out. If you're new to the channel, I'm Mike and I do weird videos about things that I have around the house sometimes. And that's exactly what's happened today because for some reason I own both the generations of the IKEA Symphonist lamps. Now we also have the bookcase speaker, which I did an unboxing of, I think it was like a year and a half ago at this point. But we bought the lamp, this lamp, the first generation, last year, and I was going to do an unboxing, but it was already pretty late in this life cycle, so I decided not to. I recorded the whole video and just never put it out. Anyway, a few weeks ago, we got the second generation one. There are some key differences I think people should be aware of. They're trying to decide to buy this one or this one. Now, this one is being discontinued, but the reason I bring it up is I did see it on sale at our local IKEA for $159, and this one comes out to 180 which was the original price of this one because the body is a lower price and then you buy the individual lampshades so that's one difference this just has this single same lampshade this one you can buy different styles we just got whatever style was available I think this one's actually pretty cool even though it's a little bit crooked here at the top and I don't feel like fixing it but that's fine the other thing as far as the aesthetics are concerned is this material is more of like a loose mesh on the first generation and feels like someone put like a knitted shirt on this thing. Not that there's anything wrong with it. I actually kind of like the way this looks. It looks more organic. This is more so like a speaker. Like it has the same look. It just kind of feels like it's just kind of glued up there. Like it has a texture. It's kind of like if you've seen the first generation like Google Home or Nest Home or a lot of the other speakers have the fabric material. It's similar to those. So. This one, I think it's a little bit more inconsistent. There's some parts that are looser than the others. This one has a more consistent look as far as the material. But I don't think the material is that big of a deal. This just could possibly tear up a little bit easier in the future than this, just because this is kind of secured to the base and this is a little bit loose. But either way, it's fine. The biggest difference is this lip at the bottom of the first generation. So the way they did the controls up here was they had this lip and all your controls are on the lip. The new one, they just put all the controls right here on the side. The worst offender as far as the controls is this power switch on the first generation one. Like this big knob that's just on the side of the lamp and turn the lamp on and off. This just simply has a button on the opposite side of where the controls are on the second generation. So they just took the time to make it a lot sleeker. They put the controls in places that make sense. They also tuck the ethernet port underneath the lamp. So kind of like how the cord runs out of the side. The ethernet cord, if you wanted to plug in wire, would run out of the side of the lamp from the bottom. This one just has a big ethernet port in the back and then the wire for the plug goes under it. So if you had ethernet plugged into this lamp, it would probably look ridiculous as well. They made a lot of design improvements. Like I said, this is a lot sleeker looking than the first generation one. Now that the first generation one looks bad, it's just, you can definitely tell this first generation, they really come a long way as far as the design. Now, the biggest thing for me were the bulbs. So I didn't know until I bought this lamp that it actually uses the small E14 bulbs, the little candle sized bulbs. And we have Hue bulbs in both of these. And typically those little E14 bulbs tend to be more expensive than the full size A19 ones that this one uses. So if you're planning on buying this one, just know you'll be stuck with those smaller E14 little candle bulbs versus just being able to throw like pretty much any standard size light bulb in this generation. Now, for the most important part of why you would even buy a lamp in the first place, it's... For the lighting quality and ambiance factor? No. It's for the audio. I listen to the audio separately. I'm going to play a little bit of it. I had to limit the songs I played to some songs that I did so that way I won't have to worry about copyright and all that stuff. But I'm just going to play a few songs from each of this and we can talk about the audio.
Okay, so audio wise, they sound very close. Like I don't think if you got the first generation, you should be running out the upgrade just for the audio. But it does sound a little bit better on the second generation. It's a little bit louder. The bass is not as muddy as it is on the first generation. It's a little bit more clear all around, but it still offers a pretty deep bass as well. Whereas this, it's still kind of clear, but when you have bass to your tracks, to me it sounded a little bit muddier. But it wasn't really a huge difference. As far as connectivity, they're both exactly the same. They're a Wi-Fi speaker, you set it up through the Sonos app. And they both support Apple AirPlay 2 if you have an iPhone. And of course you can just play stuff directly through the Sonos app as well. I use AirPlay 2 for the testing and just cast some music to each of them. They both worked exactly the same for AirPlay 2, so I didn't notice a difference there. So bottom line is, first generation is still really good. This is an improvement on the first generation, plus you get the customizable lampshades. So if you're thinking about upgrading, it's probably not worth it, but if you don't have either, and this is on clearance, unless it's like a really good deal, I would say go with the new one because of the bulbs, because of the customizable lampshades. If you get tired of it, you can always buy a new one, and because the audio quality is a little bit better. But that's gonna bring this video to a conclusion but if you enjoyed it, then make sure to tell a friend, tell a coworker, like, share, and subscribe, hit the bell notification to get notified when I drop a video, and I always do at least two things at the same time. Peace.